Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 29, 28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Patty! That wasn't close. He just consoled me in a fit. But no, watch out. Have you consulted me, manager, and see how much you're paying me for this interview? Hey. Do you think it was, you don't think it was a close fight at all? Not at all. I won the first two rounds and then coasted in the third. I knew I was two rounds up, so I, I didn't want to do nothing dangerous and risk losing the fight. I knew for a fact I won the first two rounds pretty easily. Coming into this fight, did you think that this was going to be the most difficult test of your UFC career? Yeah. Jared's one tough. <laughs> know what I mean? He is one tough man. The trials and tribulations he's had in his life, and he's come back. Hats off to Jared. So, and I want to do with Jared now is I've started my own foundation. I want to help some of the charities where he works with, with my foundation. I want to work together. Now we fought in here. I want to work together outside the cage. That's a beautiful gesture. Now, you have had a meteoric rise in your UFC career, and here you are in, in a pay-per-view. Give us your thoughts on what you would like to see next in the octagon. We'll see. I'm not going to lie. I've hit my right foot in that first round there. It's very, one of the first kicks are through my right foot in a bit of pain. I'm going to have to get that x-ray, get that looked at, but... What you think, people? Fight to the night or what? Hey! Fight to the night! Who's a hype train? Who's a hype train? Someone say something! Well, congratulations to you, sir, and I can't wait to see you back in the octagon again. Patty the Batty, ladies and gentlemen!